<laughs> sorry guys, hold on. Let's put that down. All right guys, so sorry I'm dressed like this. I'm about to go to the gym after I do this reading for you guys. Um, this is another morning morning meditation read. I was gonna try to keep these reads on Sundays, but I'll still do one this Sunday coming up. But I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to do one before I went to walk. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna see what comes out. I'm playing sacral, um, sacral chakra healing music for you guys. Okay, this will be good for anyone who's been like drowning in their emotions lately, overly sensitive, um, feeling like they can't explore their emotions, like someone who represses emotions and feelings. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. Let's see, what is the morning meditation reading? What needs to come out? What needs to come out for my um, viewer at this time? Anyone who's watching for this morning meditation, what needs to come out? And I feel like I need to drink some more water because I took some of my morning pills, like my vitamins and supplements, and um, it always feels like it's stuck. <laughs> so give me one second. Let's get started. Make sure my shirt is fine. All right, let's see. So let's see what's coming out for any of you watching. I'll try to upload this before I even go to the gym. So that's up this morning because I know we're about to be, it's about to be um, close to afternoon. It's 10.52. I woke up a little late today. All right, so what needs to come out for this morning meditation? Three of cups, okay. What else? Page of Swords. All right, Temperance in Reverse. What else? Six of Swords and Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Will of Fortune. Okay, very, very, very interesting reading here. Let me just fix my cards up really nicely. All right, so I have someone here who's, um, I have someone here who's hanging out or will be hanging out with some friends or someone who's friendly. So even if it's a romantic partner, this person and you tend to have a good um, platonic relationship or you guys have a good friendship included in the romance. Um, there's someone here who could be a little, with the Page of Swords, be a little, um, overly i would say overly sensitive right because it's sacral healing meditation could be a little um overly sensitive this is someone who's definitely had to fight before meaning um they've had to defend themselves before when it comes to love their feelings emotions friendships you know relationships period someone's always had to stick up for themselves stand up for themselves they dealt with a lot of people who posed as a threat to them or their happiness or their mental, okay? Um, temperance in reverse. This person is refusing to give. They they kind of come off in connections or newer connections very unbalanced, um, meaning that they're not giving shit, <laughs> okay? This person is temperance in reverse. They have their back turned to this whoever this person is, and they feel like, um, I'm not going to be giving much, and I stand on that, you know? So it's like, I'm not going to be giving much. Don't expect me to give much, okay? And I stand on that, you know? It's kind of like they don't feel bad about being this way, okay? Whoever this person is. Now, there's someone here, too, who's, like, registering this. Like, okay, this person is not going to be giving much. But they still feel like... They still feel like, oh, I still want to see where this goes. So, okay, there's one person on one hand, right? Three of cups. So it's a group of individuals here. Whether it's a group of two who are just coming together and it's just a good time and it's a fun time. And there's someone here saying, listen, um, I'm not giving much. They're not really saying why they're not. It could be from past relationships. It could be a learned thing. But they're basically saying I'm not going to give much to the situation. There's the other person on the other side who's like, okay, um, you know, that's not really fair. Or I don't understand where this energy is coming from. But I would still like to continue seeing you if that's okay. Six of Swords. 
I still, you can still come on this boat. You, you're saying you're not going to pay for the gas, okay? You're not even going to give me half. You're not even going to buy us food on the way, but that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. We'll figure it out when we get there, right? So someone's still willing to go on this journey with this person who seems very um, defensive, Page of Swords energy. Knight of Swords, okay? Now, not only that, right? It's kind of like even though this person who's defensive, the Page of Swords, agreed to go on this journey, and they already set up some rules to protect themselves, saying temperance in reverse. I'm not giving much, okay? Um, it's still like this person can't help themselves but jump the gun with the Knight of Swords or still be overly defensive, even though this person who's saying, I still want to travel with you, or, you know, I still want to see where this goes, is already agreeing to get the, the the short end of the stick. But someone still makes things a little difficult here. Knight of Swords, okay? And it's because, you know, it's kind of like Seven of Swords energy. Someone comes off very shady as an individual. Someone comes off very shifty, but it comes from, I got to watch my back. Because I'm not just anybody. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. This supposed to be a morning meditation, um, but I still had to throw a joke in there. You know that Drake song? Girl, I gotta watch my back because I'm not just anybody. All right? But it's more so like um, I gotta watch my back because people are always coming for me, so I'm just kind of coming to protect myself. It's kind of like two with the seven of swords as if this person knows that people with the all these swords laying around, people just tend to hurt me. So I'm sneaking in the middle of the night to pick up most of the swords for my defense. I want to always come out on top. If if someone's going to pose a threat, I want to be always ready. I stay ready. Knight of swords energy. But someone is about to what someone doesn't know is that they're doing all that and it's not going to work out in that way anyway. Will of Fortune. Something's about to change and for the better for this person and for the other person who's agreed to go on this crazy ride with this person. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. So I think this card, I mean, this this reading is like with the sacral chakra for sure. It's about healing, right? Healing so that you can indulging your emotions without being defensive without being paranoid okay all right so let's see what's the three of cups give me the three of cups please give me the three of cups all right three of cups is a star card what did i just say it's all about healing and it's all about pouring within yourself so that you are able to be the temperance and pour into someone else and, and feel like you have more than enough to give, right? So I'm not losing out just in case someone doesn't pour back into me because I got myself. That's a star card. And that's part of emotional healing, right? Healing yourself to be so secure that even if things happen, because nothing's guaranteed, even if something does happen where someone isn't who they say they are or you have to go through some type of um, disappointment again you still are strong enough to know that I always pour into myself. So what's the point of me hoarding what I have to give, right? What else? Magician as well. Okay, so it's like someone's already called this kind of union with the Three of Cups in. And it's like now that it's here or now that it's manifesting for you, now that you're meeting friends like this, now that you're meeting um, people like this, business relationships like this, or a lover like this, what are you going to do? Are you going to still be in defense mode or are you going to have a party, three of cups, right? All right, so let's see. What's this page of swords energy? Ten of cups. So someone is, it's almost like something is so threatening because it just seems too good to be true, ten of cups, and someone just doesn't believe. They feel like that's only in dreamland or they've never had that or things never work out that way so i'm just very skeptical about this ten of cups tell me about this ten of cups okay we have here the judgment card this ten of cups can be guaranteed but it's all about decision making positive decision making so if someone's defensive or pushing something away then you make that decision to not have this but if you decide to be open and transparent and accepting, then, you know, that's exactly what's going to manifest for you. What else is here? Four of Cups. With someone's choosing to not see the brighter side of things or they don't believe in the grass is greener kind of energy, they don't believe in fairy tales. This person, Four of Cups, it's like whatever. 
I'm not even gonna waste my time getting excited for this because I just know better, Four of Cups. So someone's deciding here, okay, I'm gonna push this away or I'm gonna reject this or I'm gonna act disinterested. Like, ugh, I could care less about that 10 of Cups, right? All right, temperance, and that's how they act, temperance, okay? I'm not even interested in indulging in this, okay? What's the temperance card? Knight of Pentacles, you know? It's like someone is slow to show interest and someone's also slow to walk away because there's like this magnetic pull. It's like, I don't want to show interest, but I'm interested. And I I'm want to walk away, but I don't want to walk away. It's like this slow moving energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, you know? I am interested, but I could also leave this where it's at. But it's like, okay, then put it down. <laughs> it's almost like if you're not shitting, get off the pot kind of energy, right? That the universe is looking at you. You know, your spirit guides could be looking at you or whoever this person is. It's like, if you are not interested, why you keep coming back every day and window shopping? You know what I'm saying? That's what that's giving. Okay, so Six of Swords, please. So someone's interested. So they're like, okay, you know what? I'm interested, but I'm not paying full price. Say you're at the, the store. The, the the business owner, you know, or the store owner is like, hey, I've seen you in here, you know, the last five days. Are you interested in that product? And, and it's kind of like the customer is like, oh, honey, I've seen better products. I, I don't think this is like exactly what I'm looking for. And then the store owner is like, okay, are you sure? Because you've been in here every day, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, do, would you like to buy this? Would you like to try it out? We have a refund policy here. Would you like to try it out? So they have a refund policy, you know, um, customer satisfaction, 100% guarantee policy. If you don't like the item, you can always return it and you'll get full price back. But someone is still negotiating because they just don't want to give anything. They don't want to give any of their trust or their time or energy towards the situation and feel disappointed, even it, even though there's a refund policy. So someone's kind of like bargaining with the, with the business owner. It's like, okay, I'll get it, but I'm only going to buy it at 25% off. That's it. Or I leave it. And the business owner is kind of like, kind of could tell that this person really does want this because they've been in the shop for like five days throughout that week. And it's kind of like, okay, fine. I'm losing out, but I'm willing to give it to you just to make you happy you know, that's kind of what the energy is giving, okay? So it's like, okay, you know. And then it's almost too like, okay, yeah, I bought the item at 25% off, but um, I'm not driving myself home either. You need to drive me home as well. And the business owner is like, okay, I'll drive you home as well, whatever you want. <laughs> What's the Six of Swords energy? Tell me about this person, the business owner per se, or the person who's selling the item per se in this story. Tell me about this person. <laughs> okay, the world card in reverse. What else? And the eight of swords. Okay, interesting. This could be someone who... I don't know if they're seeing the, the shopper, the buyer like this, where it's like the, the world card in reverse and the eight of swords. Someone can't move on. Remember, that's the page of pentacles. They see this buyer as someone who can't move on, but someone also who's self-sabotaging from allowing something to happen. That's the eight of swords. That's the world card in reverse. You know, this this shopper, they, they say that they don't want this eight of swords, but they can't. They come in every day, you know? How does this um, person feel towards the buyer or the main person here? Okay, 10 of wands in reverse. They just want to make things easier for them. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to allow you with your outrageous conditions, I'm going to just go with it because I would rather you not stress or I want to make things easy for you. So it feels like this 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 um, owner or whoever this person is that's, you know, just kind of losing out a little bit is like, I'd rather do that just to make the shopper feel more secure or not have a stress-free stress buying experience, okay? And of course, this is all like, you know, metaphorically speaking. Okay, so let's see. Knight of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords, please. Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles. Interesting. What else? Two, okay, Three of Wands. Okay. And why is this happening? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so 
Mm-hmm. Now there is someone here, you know, after they bought this item or after they agreed with the with this person that okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna move forward. It's kind of like they get very overly defensive or very like Knight of Swords energy. They're doubling back really fastly. This is gonna happen in the future, Three of Wands, towards this King of Pentacles, okay? So this is this is happening towards someone, this masculine who's very secure, okay? And the reason it's all happening is because of Seven of Pentacles. I'm afraid to invest in this. I don't know where this is gonna go. So let me come back and just make sure that the refund policy is guaranteed. Or let me come back and just, you know, maybe even threaten. <laughs> maybe even threaten the business owner and say, hey, if this doesn't work, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> or if this if this doesn't give me what I guaranteed, then you'll have to give me a 50% discount. And, you know, with the refund, blah, 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 whatever. But whoever they're coming and complaining to, this King of Pentacles is very secure in themselves. And they know that their product or what they're offering is very, is non-faulty or it's very good. So how does this King of Pentacles, how do they receive this backlash in the future? How do they receive this? How does this King of Pentacles receive this backlash? Ace of Cups. They okay, so that's funny. So whoever this right, we're still going with the storyline of the store owner. If the store if the customer comes back and they come back without the product, by the way, they're not coming to return the item. They're just coming to threaten the store owner and say, Hey, if this doesn't work, I'm telling you, I'm gonna re I'm gonna come back and return it and you're gonna give me a full refund, blah blah blah. This this store owner just sees it as Oh, this person really loves this product that I sold them. They really love it. They're just scared. Now, in a love sense or a friendship sense, whoever's being complained to, they feel like, okay, this person's only complaining or this person's only threatening because they're actually falling for this friendship or they're falling for this re relationship. I only see this as love, okay? That's all I see it as. Interesting. So someone's very secure here, okay? They, they, they're not, like, phased by this, this you know, nonsense. All right. So anyway, Seven of Swords energy. So this person who has trust issues or um, a little paranoid about receiving this love or this friendship or this item, whatever. Um, Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I feel like someone, yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse. So someone doesn't communicate. They just start kind of adjusting to do things to have double insurance, right? Even though they've already been insured by this King of Pentacles, if you're not happy with the situation, then no problem. You can refund it. Or if you're not happy with this product, you can refund it. Or if you're not happy with the situation, we can end it and there'll be nothing lost on your part. You can break up with me or you can tell me you don't want to be my friend anymore and I'll just take it as that and it's fine. But be if someone may be feeling kind of nervous and they're not communicating it, eight of wands in reverse. So in, in return, they start acting a little shady here. Tell me about this person. What are they going to be doing? Huh? All right. Ace of pentacles is here. Sun card in reverse. Emperor in reverse. So someone's also has like control issues when it comes to friendships or relationships or business partnerships where, and it's only because they want things to go in their way. So it's kind of like, being overly controlling but not um, communicating. So they do things behind the scenes to make sure that if things don't go as planned, then they still have some kind of their own. It's kind of like taking out an insurance policy behind someone's back. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. And we have the sun card in reverse. It doesn't make this person happy to do this, but they also, this is coming out of unhappy times that they've had from losing out. So past relationships where they were really good towards someone and they got stabbed in the back. They think about those moments and it makes them very nervous. With that ace of pentacles, they're like, okay, I have to insure myself or I have to do something. It's almost like two, this person too could be um, offering a, a kind of commitment to someone else, which is weird. You know, it's kind of like a, a backup here. It's kind of like, um, okay, I'm not going to communicate with you that I'm scared shitless of this connection, but I am going to go and date someone else that I'm not really interested in, but I'm giving them more of me than you because I really care about you. I don't really care about this person, but if it doesn't work out with you, then at least I have this backup. And it's a control situation, right? It's like, 
um, you know, I just never want to go through that pain again. So that's what I'm doing to just ensure that I'm doing, I'll be okay if this doesn't work out. And what sucks about this is that this could all be avoided through communication, Ace of Swords. Um, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the moon card. It's like a secretive thing or, you know, it's like someone is, um, someone does this out of, um, emotions. Someone also does this out of illusion, like they, like disillusion, like they, sorry, not disillusion, illusion, like they, they perceive something to go bad, but it's not what it seems. And it's kind of like, you know, kind of ruining things before things even were to get ruined. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good energy. One more card for this. Queen of Wands energy here, okay? So this could be a, a feminine doing this to a masculine. Because we do have the King of Pentacles here as the, um, you know, the store owner, whatever. And we have this Queen of Wands popping out. Or it could be like a masculine's going to be getting involved with a with a Aries Leo Sag feminine energy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Four pentacles in reverse. This person has control issues. They're miserly almost. They're unable to let go of certain ways of thinking that come from a past situation. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to throw somebody off because it's not what it seems, right? And it's positive, even though someone's thinking is going to be so negative. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Hangman. Okay, what else? Six of Wands in reverse. Anything else? Seven of Wands. One more card, please. Ten of Swords in reverse. Interesting. All right, so we have the Hangman. So being stuck in one perspective, one way of thinking. That's someone here, right? Six of Wands in reverse. Not getting the attention that they want, okay? So, for example, if you're if someone does go and pick up another friend or another business partnership or another romantic energy outside of what they really truly want with this King of Pentacles, blah, blah, blah. It won't be the attention that they want. It'll be superficial. It, you know, the person that they are going after to try to be their security per se is not giving them a true sense of fulfillment. Um, we also have the seven of wands, right? So someone's wanting to push someone away, but there's no threat. There's really no threat here. You know, it's kind of like it's positive. It's a positive energy surrounding this person, but they're just kind of too pushy here. We also have this Ten of Swords in reverse. So it's like someone really needs to release some kind of painful ending that they went through in the past to be able to bring this positive change in. So it's almost like, you know, positive change is not going to come until this person changes their perspective on things. What this person could have is the Nine of Pentacles. It's a sense of security within oneself. Being so independent, being so... Um, um, being so independent that you can be interdependent with someone. You can be in a relationship or a partnership or a friendship with someone and still have your independence and not feel codependent, not feel like, you know, um, cause that's kind of what this energy is giving where it's like, if this per, if things don't work out between me and this one specific person, then everything's ruined for me. And that's codependency, right? Knight of Cups could have a genuine, you know, um, love lover here. Someone who's actually going to show effort, someone who's going to, you know, be planning the dates, someone who's going to be doing the romantic gestures, sharing their feelings, you know, it's going to be emotionally positive. And the Ten of Pentacles could also be a long-term situation that also has a healthy family around it, right? So if someone, if this person had in the past were dating someone long-term and their family was super against that person or vice versa, Maybe the person that they were dating had a very toxic family dynamic. That's something that someone doesn't have to worry about with this King of Pentacles or with this Queen of Wands. It could be vice versa, right? Um, but it change. It has to be someone's perspective has to change because there's this energy of self-sabotage. Where's the self-sabotage card? Here it is. And it's like in all of these cards, there's no threat here. There's no real threat. But someone keeps from their perspective, their way of thinking, right? It's like they can't see the grass is greener on the other side. Or they can't see that, you know, something actually could be very positive coming through. All right. So I'm going to end it because I have to go work out before it gets too late. Because when I come back, I'm going to record some more Zodiac readings. 
Whew. Guys, this pill still feels like it's lodged in my throat, but I just know that it's just because I'm not used to like swallowing pills. I like, I really hate it. So it could also be a mental thing for me <laughs> where it's like, um, it's still in there, but it's not. All right, let's get the last words and I'll get your emojis and we'll end it, okay? This went on way longer than I expected it to. All right, last words, please, for whoever's watching. Last words. Last words for whoever's watching. Last words, last words, last words, last words, last words. Whoa. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Okay, perfect. I've been hurt before. It's in reverse, though. So that's the Ten of Swords in reverse. Releasing. Yes, you've been hurt before. Yes, it was painful. Yes, it put you through a lot of changes and not positive, some of them, right? But that's in the past. And you can't hold on to this energy of saying, oh, my God, I was hurt before. So are you going to be the hangman and just hang in there for years to come and miss out on some great opportunities? No, you should not. We have breakup and it came out twice. So... I don't know if someone's had a lot of painful breakups in their past, like maybe not healthy ones. And so someone feels like, remember that's that um, refund or that 100% get satisfaction guarantee where it's like, if you're not happy with, excuse me, if you're not happy with this, then we can separate amicably. But someone may not be used to breakups happening amicably. Like it's like, no, every time I do have a breakup with someone, it's painful, it's hurtful, it's ten of swords all over again. But someone's saying, no, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be any hard feelings. We can still be friends. We can just choose to not be romantic, blah, 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 whatever. But someone's remembering more than one breakup, like that's really hurt them, that someone hasn't possibly healed all the way from, okay? For that to come out twice. Also for like two, both people could have recently or had painful breakups. And that's something that you guys could talk about that maybe might be really refreshing to hear that someone else has been through some bullshit like that. All right, we have a one of family with you. That's the Ten of Pentacles in my deck, right? And that's where this situation could go to if someone's willing to be open, okay? I have no plans on changing. That's how it feels like the buyer's whoever the buyer is in a situation feels like they are so stuck in their ways of trying to protect themselves and they feel like it's coming from a positive but it's actually not okay it's coming from a negative energy within all right an, an imbalanced sacral chakra okay car secret something about someone's car their whereabouts or just something about a car is very significant in this storyline we also have walk away so i feel like someone is choosing to walk away even though they don't want to all right, what else is here? Not letting you go. So it looks like the owner, right? The store owner is like, hey, hey, hey. Okay, before you walk out the store, before you just give up on this item that I know that you want so much, let me extend to you another discount. You know, it's like, I'm not gonna let you just walk away. We also have not interested. <laughs> <laughs> which is so funny because I talked about how the person's like, oh, I'm not interested, but it's like they keep coming back every every day of the week. All right, we have great P word, great D word. Um, this is my morning meditation spirit, okay? We don't need these kind of cards to come out in the morning meditation, but um, nonetheless, it came out anyway, so there you go. All right, what else do we have here? Libra, okay? So some of you guys could be a Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Some of you guys, this energy may really take course around Libra season. What else do we have here? Second chance. Yeah, it's like, okay, maybe you did push me away. Maybe you did self-sabotage the situation, but maybe we can try it again. Let's try it this time. Maybe it'll be more healthy. Maybe we understand each other better. Maybe communication will be better this time, okay? All right, before I end it, of course, I want to get your emojis because I know you guys love that. Love it. Oh, my friend just texted me, but let me not look at it now. I'll get still distracted. Okay, let's see. Give me some emojis for those who are watching for this morning meditation. Huh. Okay, something about a lantern. Like, maybe like a Chinese New Year lantern. Is Chinese New Year even coming up? I don't fucking know. But there's something about um, a lantern. Also, I. So, someone's initials could start with the letter I. Or I could be very important. I is also me, right? Or one. So, it's like someone's only thinking about themselves in a situation and not the other person. And that could be very selfish. But someone could be also doing that because it's like... 
I want to protect myself, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, what about the other person's feelings? Something about some tacos, street tacos, Mexican, okay, Mexicana. Um, but um, yeah, something about street tacos or tacos could be very um, important. We also have the hard eyes. So someone is smitten by you or you're smitten by someone, blah, 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 whatever. Um, we also have this horse galloping. So someone's coming in really fast. Um, something about riding. <laughs> gross okay um also something about like um night right there's a night there's a night of swords energy there's a night of cups energy things are being pursued you know someone's kind of like pursuing someone no matter what i'm gonna pull some more emojis but let's just do these ones really quickly all right so this is your first set of emojis all right let's do some more Ooh, the horse came out again so i don't know something about riding or something about something is coming in very persistently um, also something like down, down, hmm. This is like left down, but I was almost going to say down low. So I don't know. All right, let's see. We also have the um, cat smiling emoji or the P word emoji. We also have the nose. So someone's nose could be significant or like a smell of some sort could be very significant. We also have red wine. So someone's been drinking some red wine lately or red wine could be very um, significant between you and this person. I'm going to pull one more because these are weird. Okay, one more. Spirit, make it count. Make it count. All right, tennis. Maybe someone's going to be playing tennis with someone. Um, something about a balls okay gross all right a, a dress maybe a tur turquoise dress or a dress we also have like um a fax machine so i don't know fax maybe someone's gonna be faxing someone maybe um someone's gonna be speaking all facts we also have a lot of smoke so lots of incense steamy shower smoking hot boxing in the car we also have someone being like a little disappointed disappointed face like someone's not happy here all right, there you go, guys. All right, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys um, later on today. All right, bye-bye.